CA Workload Automation DE provides distributed job scheduling and workload management across the enterprise. In this video, you will learn how to upgrade the CA Workload Automation DE server from release 11.3 SP3 to release 12.1 by using the in-place upgrade method. The in-place upgrade method helps you upgrade your server to the same directory where the server was originally installed. It does not require the installation of a new server instance and database. The in-place upgrade method does not require the migration of artifacts, global variables, and history data. For this demonstration, let's assume that the 11.3 SP3 server is set up with the Microsoft SQL database. The 12.1 ISO is downloaded from CA support, and the 12.1 desktop client is installed on your computer by using the downloaded ISO. Before you start the upgrade, you must complete the prerequisites in the 11.3 SP3 server. Let's get started with the prerequisites. Open the command prompt and verify that the JRE 1.8.181 or a higher version is installed on your computer. Next, Verify that the 11.3 SP3 server is on build number 1414 or higher. Next, open the 11.3 SP3 desktop client and force complete all the active SFTP jobs. You must also force complete the jobs that are in resource weight and variable weight states. As you can see from this custom view, none of the application generations have any SFTP jobs or jobs in resource or variable weight states, so let's proceed further. Next, for verification purposes, let's review some of the existing artifacts count in the 11.3 SP3 server. Note that the total number of events is 6. and the total number of agents defined in the topology is 5. Next, stop the workload on the server by suspending all events. Stop the 11.3 SP3 server. Ensure that the 11.3 SP3 server database and the server install directory are already backed up. Now that we have completed the prerequisites, let's move on to the server upgrade. First, double-click the setup.exe file from the extracted ISO. Next, Accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next to proceed. Select the Upgrade option and click Install. Enter the installation directory path of the 11.3 SP3 server. By default, the installation program uses the installation directory of the 11.3 SP3 server. Click Next to proceed. Click Install. Let's wait until the upgrade completes. Next, click Done and complete the upgrade. The in-place upgrade method upgrades the configuration, JRE, binary, and library files of the server, and it also updates the database schema. It does not upgrade the default system agent that is installed with the server. You must manually upgrade the agent to the latest release by referring to the CA Workload Automation Agents documentation. Now that the server upgrade is completed successfully, next we will start the workload processing by using the desktop client. First, start the upgraded 12.1 server. Open the 12.1 desktop client.
Connect to the 12.1 server. Let's add two connections for user and admin roles to allow suspending of events and listing of agents. Resume all the suspended events. The workload processing resumes in the upgraded 12.1 server. Let's also review the artifacts count after the upgrade. Note that the events count is 6. And the agent count is 5. The in-place upgrade method simplifies the upgrade and maintenance processes of the server with minimum steps. Administrators can have greater control over the upgrade through enhanced logging and rollback procedures. We encourage you to upgrade your CA Workload Automation DE environment to the latest release. When you upgrade, ensure that all the components, including the server, desktop client, web client, and other utilities, are at the same release level. In this video, you have learned how to upgrade the CA Workload Automation DE server from release 11.3 SP3 to release 12.1. For more information about the upgrade, see the CA Workload Automation DE documentation.